Um, but first, have you seen the pictures of Catherine Bigelow in the papers today? She won the award for Best Director for her film The Hurt Locker at this year's Oscars, beating her ex-husband James Cameron, director of Avatar. Now, even though he doesn't look very pleased about it here, uh, the former couple are said to be on very good terms. However, the press are dubbing it the sweetest revenge on the ex. So can you ever really be happy when life goes well for an ex? Oh, no, not that well. <laughs> You sat there at the Oscars, you both your names are called out, and your and ex wife gets to go up. No, I think, because I think, obviously it depends how you break up, but you kind of want your ex to just go away. And if they win an Oscar, they're on everything. They're on the mm. telly, they're in the papers, in magazines, you just don't want to be faced with that the whole time. So especially if you were both up for the same prize. Same yeah, I think well, if you're in the same profession, it's a really hard pill to it swallow. Is. I think, um, I, I wouldn't do very well with that at all. I, and, and I think does it's... It depend, does it depend on how you can kind of split up with a person? Because yeah. there's, a, there's a few exes that I've had that I, it would actually... I'd have to yeah, kill myself if they... I'd have to kill myself <laughs> if, they, if they did well. Because they oh. wouldn't deserve it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. A couple of exes in particular wouldn't deserve that type of success. Mm. So I would... And they'd be coming trying to come over as a nice person, I don't, I'd want to tell the world that they were horrible. But there's a couple of exes... That's just according to you, because of your experience with them. They might deserve No, they are horrible, Andrew. Okay. They just are horrible. <laughs> um, but, um, but there's a couple of exes who we broke up really amicably, and I would be thrilled if they, you know... Well, I mean, it, it depends how you define success. I mean, not necessarily winning Oscars, but, I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled that this particular ex of mine is now happily married with a child and, and doing well oh, in his chosen yeah. career. Yeah. And I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. I think you know. it's quite difficult for your current partner as well. If you've got an ex that everyone keeps saying, oh, did you hear they won that Oscar? Yeah. You know, Ooh. oh, I can't believe yeah. how successful they are. They were rubbish when they were with you, but look at them now! <laughs> <laughs> Take your Oscar and go and live over there. I, ha I mean, I have to say, obviously, you know, I've, my ex and I, we've been apart for, uh, what, five, six, six years now. Um, and I, I genuinely, because he, he makes docu documentary films, I'd be really, really genuinely hand on heart pleased for him Would and you? proud of him if he did well. Because I always knew he had it in him, in him. And I wonder if there are people that are saying, look how well he's doing now without her. She obviously yeah. held him back. Yeah. But, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe the, the chemistry-wise, maybe it just didn't work. Maybe I propped him too much or pushed him out. I don't know. But now... Now, I'm genuinely really pleased well, that he's doing well. Well, he could give you well. a job in one of his documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't Maybe want you to... Maybe tried that jumping on him first thing a few yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to come over as a bitter person here, but... Um, <laughs> but I sense a but. But, um, no, and I would love to be very generous and say, it's fantastic, I'm just so thrilled. And when somebody says, oh, your ex, I saw him the other day, he looks great. He looks so much happier now. <laughs> and, you go, and then suddenly that kind of hate comes in, doesn't it? And then you lose that generosity completely. The vile rises. Yeah, and the yes. thing is, you know, somebody that was in my business um, that I was with has done very well and did win things. And I actually generally try, I did, honestly genuinely tried to sit there and go, and I went, rah, rah. <laughs> and I don't want to be like that. <laughs> well, what about inter not necessarily professionally, but if your ex-partners move on and you can see that they... I mean, you touched on it. One of your exes has moved on and is now happily married oh. with someone else. Are you happy for them but then? But it's still hard, that, isn't it, though? Because you're still looking at somebody else that you knew. I'm talking about a bad breakup, not a really nice amicable breakup mm. that you're now friends. And you're looking at somebody that you knew that, had, you know, you had a bad time with, now happy, you know, and I'm on my own, so you look at it even worse in my situation. And then also, I've got a child, and you think, what if they have a child? And then, you know, then yeah. they're going to interact with my child. Mm. And I think it's really hard to be, to be that generous. If I'm mm. truthful and honest, I really mm. do. I can't be. Could you mm. do it? Uh, I think when kids are involved, it's really complicated. It is. I think it has a totally different thing. Then, if there are no kids involved, and he's with another woman who's younger, prettier, and he's happier with her, <laughs> exactly. then I just would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for your 